Greetings fellow gamers and welcome to my Let's Play of 7 Days to Die. This is Alpha 12. And isn't it so pretty? It really is. Wow, they take more to get rid of now. Let's just tidy up. There was something particularly special I wanted to show you guys today. This is my homestead. Okay, I'll search you. Um... I found this and it's awesome now admittedly I had zombie spawning off when I found this but take a look guys this was next to this house over here and I thought it was like a scrapyard when in fact oh sorry I walked in here now this didn't have these trapdoors it was covered in this stuff and I walked out here and more gore piles Let's kill the gore piles uh, ew. and I walked out here and I found this now this also had one of those corrugated iron plates on it and I thought it looked rather interesting so I broke that underneath that were rows of iron bars which I've replaced um, and yeah that led me to something which ultimately led to this believe it or not this actually works it will let you walk through the sort of supports I've added my own sort of personal homey touches I've upgraded the doors um, but yeah I found a bunker which is just awesome um, you get a bathroom with a medicine cabinet now since starting playing this game I have found a couple of had a couple of airdrops and got antibiotics in said airdrops Oh, there's more zombies upstairs um it comes with a kitchen now obviously i've added my own cooking stove it comes with something akin to a storeroom which is quite cool this is where i popped out so it's like an air vent and i kind of fell down here and this was the first thing i found um there wasn't much in the cupboards i'll be honest Obviously, I've, I've added a nicer bed. Um, it had the gun safe, though there wasn't anything in it. And it had the storage chest. And it had these lockers, which had a mixture of items in it, including some cloth items. Um, and yeah, this is what I found. It's quite cool. I'll tell you what else I've done, which is pretty cool. And I will put my hands up and I will confess I did this in creative. Um, I I made a mini bike, which is quite awesome. And I'll just go and sort some Zs out. Where are they? Oh. In fact, let's do this instead. Where is it? There it is. This is the best way to chase down an airdrop. There it is. Alright, let's go. You can go far faster than the zombies, and you can pretty much just ignore them. In fact, if you hit them with your bike, you can run the suckers over. Also something rather interesting. Oh, yeah, you can get stuck on trees. Obviously your bike takes damage whenever you do this. But it's not that big a deal actually. You can repair your bike, although to be honest I'm not 100% certain how. You got any meds? Oh, you've got some bandages which is cool. I don't want to lose my bike in all this long grass. But I do love the 
the sort of texture packs they're very pretty right let's open up this crate and see what's in here is there anything around here that needs killing first okay is that it I can't see it. I can hear them. I can't see them. Oh, well, let's just get on and open the crate. But this is generally what you get in a supply crate. You get a ri some rifle parts, you get schematics, you get first aid kits, and you get antibiotics of various quantities. This, so far, is the only place I've managed to find any antibiotics. Where are you? Oh, you know, I don't care. Let's go for a ride. Come on. Now, obviously, you need fuel for your bike. But something I have discovered about microbiking is it's an effective way of hunting for food. Let me go and ditch this stuff. And I'll show you what I mean. See, so you can go an awful lot faster than a zombie. Oh, that's something else I've noticed. You don't seem to take quite the full damage you used to. That is not a complaint. That is a yes, please, thank you, sir. Okay. I think I've got rather more meds than I can fit in this medicine cabinet at the moment. So I'll put some in my storeroom. And voila! Now obviously you don't have to keep the things that are here at this point in time. You can upgrade if you wish. You can put in whatever you feel you need to. Um, I think I'll keep that splint actually because I am a clumsy monster. Um, right let me just seem to have a lump of coal just gonna ditch some stuff in here that i don't need so that i've got a bit more space um I'll keep the glass jars because i can fill them up now some of these things were actually in this base when i came in here there were like a cup full oh I already know it okay there was a full stack of concrete blocks and there was a full stack of other things I can't remember what now so yeah I know there are zombies about but I'm just going to show you what you can do on this bike. It's better if you stick to the roads. Um, and I'll show you what I mean. Well, hopefully I'll show you what I mean. Basically, it's rather a fun way of hunting. I know that sounds daft. Um, but you can run over animals in it so you don't have to waste your arrows you don't have to spend hours and hours chasing it down um, you don't have to do any of that you just drive and when you see something just alter your trajectory and go full base I'll show you with this oh and you get that crunch noise it's also a rather you i've killed bears doing this i've killed deer i've killed rabbit i've killed pig and now i've killed zombie look i'll show you oh okay i missed let's turn around and go back now the bears they're cool they do chase you oh hey <laughs> okay let's go around in a big circle They get bored after a few minutes. And yeah, but you can actually harvest bears. Wiggly bears. 
you get bear meat, you get hide, you get 16 hide, bears and fat. And then obviously you'll have to go block afterwards. Where did my bike go? Where's my bike gone? Where's my bike gone? No! <laughs> oh no. Where's my bike gone? Seriously. I wanted to show you something else. Okay, my bike's disappeared, guys. Okay, well, that's not a problem. Normally, if I'd gathered all those things legit, I would be super distressed right about now. And using many colourful expressions of anger. But as it stands, I, I used the creative menu, so I'm going to do that again. So, uh, if I can spell... These are all the parts that you need for the mini bike. Okay, you get handlebars, you get the mini bike chassis, you need the how to build a mini bike for dummies, although it doesn't say dummies. <laughs> I've only just noticed that. Oh, look, you can get flaming arrows. That is awesome. You need the mini bike seat. Can you guys hear that? That's a weird noise. Right, so what you do is you place your chassis on the ground. Okay, and you E on it. And then you place the bits on it that you want. So you've got that, you've got the seat. Now you need other things, obviously. So let me just go and get those. So you need wheels. Wheels. Oh, they're crap quality. We don't want that. I don't know what it is with you. It seems to randomise the quality of things you get. Okay, I'm going to get you whatever I do this time. I need a small engine or motor. Oh, what have they called it? Not motor. They called it an engine. Right. It's gone again. Ah! Is it because I stopped? because I went into you. This is odd. This is very odd. Okay, I'm going to try this one more time. But maybe I'm going to need all the things at the at hand. It's odd that it's disappearing. Okay. See, I would be super hacked off right now if I'd actually gathered all this gear and it kept disappearing. It would make me want to hurt people. It really, really would. So I hope that's a glitch they fix. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Right, so let's add the handlebars. I do have zombies on low at the moment, so I don't feel overly threatened. Whoa! I wonder if it's because I'm on the road. Let's go over onto the grass and see if that does something. Clear a space. Obviously not the most effective way of clearing a space. Let's use the axe. That should do. Okay. There's some weird... They seem to have changed the noise of some of the zombies. And they really are weird now. Okay, let's try again. Maybe it's because I didn't read the schematic. But I've read the schematic before, so surely I wouldn't need to read it again. But I'll try. Maybe that's what I need to do every single time. Right. Have I got the engine? I've got the engine. I've got everything I need. Okay. No, recipe's already known, so it's not that. E. Now. Engine. Handlebars. Wheels for storage and it's gone again wow okay 
I really don't know what to do now. I don't know why it keeps disappearing. Hmm. Show you why my original one disappeared. Seems to be this stretch of road. So let's make our way home and see what we can do. I know, I know, I know, I was using creative, but even so guys, it shouldn't be disappearing. And had I not been using creative, I think I would be crying right now. Because even though you can craft that gear, and even though you can... Whoa! <laughs> the funky dance even though you can do all of that yeah it's not it's not great when you've crafted it all and it just disappears on you to be perfectly frank it's kind of rather annoying and I didn't even salvage the parts and make the parts. And it's a shame because I was going to show you guys how great the mini bike was. And it really is great. Um, well, I know. You see, the best thing about the mini bike is if you've killed something and you stink, you can put things in the storage on the mini bike and it stops you smelling. So you can go out and run over deer and pig and bear and you can harvest all the meat off of it, put it on your mini bike and no problem, job sorted. Wow, that didn't even touch you, did it? Hey Lurch. Right. And I think that's quite cool because that means, and plus the storage capacity on the bike is quite, it's roughly I'd say about the same size as a wooden storage chest. So it really does increase the amount that you can haul, which makes going out and scavenging a lot more efficient, especially if you can run over deer en route. And yeah, I know I'm in creative, but I'm still a scavenger at heart. Ooh, there's a cave down here. Shut up. Oh no, is the bear still down there? <laughs> when I was playing this game, I wanted to see how good the AI on a bear was. And I wanted to see if I could lure it into a hole. This is the hole I lured it into. Um, wow, they've got lichen growing on the inside of caves, which is quite cool. The bear seems to be beating up zombies. That is the best thing about zombies now, about bears. They beat up zombies, like Billio. So at some point I'm going to have, oh, oh dear. Sorry you didn't make it. Thank you for the arrows. Um, this cave just goes on. Mushrooms. I've not seen the mushrooms before. I wonder if you can eat them. Can you make a mushroom omelette? That would be so cool if you could. Apparently those mushrooms glitched in that rock. Is this the end? bit more through there but I wouldn't be able to get down there. Can I get out now that I've gotten in? But yeah I wanted to see how, how dumb the bear was and it did it walked straight into the hole and couldn't get back out or didn't while I was stood at the other side of the hole. My reason for doing this is purely and simply to see whether or not I could use myself as bait to lure bears into holes because the plan is guys to build basically like a bear pit 
and fill it with bears around my camp and sort of see if because they're not going to go hungry. Zombies will fall in and, and die. Hopefully. I can't get out now. See, if I can't get out, couldn't get out, the bear probably couldn't get out. Okay. Oh. This is going to take ages. Hmm. Oh, glitch. There's got to be a way of glitching up here. They fixed the sort of glitching up surfaces thing. Ah, there you go. Awesome. Sun's going down, so I should probably head home. Let's just mop up a few unwanted guests on the way home. I do love my shotgun, by the way. My shotgun is wonderful. It's my new best friend. Don't get me wrong, I have a long... <laughs> long love of arrows and crossbows, but they don't seem to do any damage now, at all. I fired 25 the other day into a lumberjack, a frozen lumberjack called Bob, and it did nothing to him. Look at the colours, guys. Isn't this gorgeous? It's just a shame about the zombie filled. Oh, come on. I hit the deer. <laughs> oh, dear. That was not a very flattering way to fall. Well, let's get some meat. They don't seem to be that interested in me. They seem to be going over there for some... Oh, no. They're coming. She was just, you know... Following the highway code. As you would, as a dead zombie. You know, look left, look right. Don't just run down the road. Okay. Right, well, we're going to head home. Uh, before it becomes night... I do love the sky. Look at that sky now. It's so pretty. Everything's so pretty. I think the gold piles kind of compost and grow grass. Which is quite cool. I wonder how long that takes. Oh! Nasty! Bye bye. Okay. Shall we finish the arrest off or shall we just go home? There's some more. Some. Ah, oh, there you are. Hey, Chelsea. Hey, Fatso. Okay. I'm going to call you Bruno. Wow, there's quite a few here. Have you got anything? No. Hey, Lurch. Okay. And you. And you. And you. I hear a bear as well going a bit mental. I hear you. Where is it? Come on, let me put you out of your misery. I wonder what time these guys start running. Oh well, I don't care. <laughs> Seriously, I don't know which one it is, but one of them makes a low kind of grumble sound like he's got indigestion. Right, so, well, this is Alpha 12, guys. 
Oh! Get off me! No, I didn't mean to press that. <laughs> uh, I'll use that one. I do think it's odd that now everything's in a sack. Oh, I don't care where you are. Ah, he's going home. Right, so this is my base, obviously. And yeah, this is Alpha 12. Um, and yeah, hopefully they'll fix the bug when it comes to... When it comes to... Um, the bike disappearing because that's rather annoying like I say I'm glad I actually did cheat to get that now so there you go guys this is what Alpha 12 has to offer and it is awesome and we are loving it so um, by all means click like if you want to see more and I'll see you next time thank you for watching take care now bye bye